wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Hey guys, so if you haven't already guessed it, this drawing is of Gordon Freeman, who is the protagonist in the Half-Life video game series. This is one of my all-time favorite games, and I would still definitely recommend that anyone who plays video games should give this a try, even though the last release of the game was about 10 years ago. Um, I just want to point out that this is my version of Gordon Freeman, so it looks a bit different than the Half-Life 2 depiction. For this image I used quite a few different references and to get the signature Gordon Freeman look I focused on his facial appearance and the HEV suit and his iconic uh, crowbar. Um, the HEV or hazardous environment suit is basically his body armor and health monitoring system. It can detect things like radiation and poison and even administer an antidote or morphine for severe injuries. Printed on the front of the suit is the lambda symbol which scientists use to denote the decay constant of radioactive elements that is related to the half-life of an element. But the symbol is used in various places throughout both the games Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2 is also the name of the game series Half-Life. Like most other first-person shooter games, the character always has a melee weapon in the case where he would run out of ammunition then you at least still have a weapon to defend yourself and in Gordon Freeman's case it is the crowbar. I experimented a lot with different textures in this image. Um, I've got different textures for the metallic finish on things like the suit and the crowbar and then I've got a more kind of material feel on the glove and parts of the shirt and then a different kind of grainy texture for the walls at the end of the tunnel that he is walking through. This image took me just over 18 hours to finish which is considerably longer than I first anticipated it would be but looking back it's it's got a lot more detail especially with regards to the scene most of my other drawings that I've done usually I end up doing a very basic scene in the background but I think that with a more detailed scene the overall image is a lot cleaner than my usual drawings also as usual, for those of you who don't know, this image is done in GIMP. Um, the version I'm currently using is GIMP version 2.8.16, I think. GIMP is free software that anyone can download. I will leave a link in the description to the download page or to the GIMP website where you can download and play around with the software. At the time of recording this video, my channel is very close to a thousand subscribers, which is really insane and awesome. Um, back when I started the channel, I really didn't expect it would ever get to a thousand subscribers, so that's, that's really cool. And thank you a lot for subscribing. Um, if there is something that you would like me to draw, maybe for the thousand subscriber when I eventually reach that milestone um, leave a comment below and I will see if I can do something special for the thousand subscriber milestone I'm really bad at doing voiceovers um, but hopefully with more practice as with my art I can eventually get a lot better at speaking and hopefully that will also give me enough confidence to do things like tutorials and stuff because I know a lot of people have been asking for 
tutorials um, that's a bit difficult because I draw a lot slower I think than most of the other YouTube artists that do tutorials but I think maybe with a simple subject I should still be able to do a tutorial on GIMP um, if you guys I know a lot of you have already asked but if there's more of you who would like to see tutorials maybe you can just give me a um, an idea of what you would like to see a tutorial on I just want to say thanks for spending some of your time watching my videos um, it's really helped me helped get me motivated in drawing digital artwork um, it's kind of like a, a goal now to try and release more often I know I only release once or maybe twice a month um, unfortunately that's because art is for me just at the moment a hobby my career is at actually in a different path so that's why I don't always have the time to make a lot of digital drawings if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe bye